Hello and welcome to Infinity. Um, let's turn this picture into a painterly thing where instead of like pixels you've got much larger blobs. So first of all let's do a Control J. I'll select that first. Here we go. Control J to get a uh, duplicate layer. Then down here I'm going to add a pixel layer and I'm going to fill that up. So I'll go to the flood fill with white. There we go. And uh, just go back up that to now. And we will go to filters, noise, and add noise. And we'll have this here turned all the way up, Gaussian and monochromatic. So I'll apply that. And now if I sort of zoom into this, you can see what we've got here. It's just lots of pixels and stuff. So I want to cut down on this and make it go to just black and white. So I'm going to use the threshold. So I go to adjustments and threshold. And what this does here is this goes one way or the other way. You can see you get more or less. So you can get sort of dots, random dots. Um, I'm going to put it at about 65%. That's just through trial and error. And we're going to go fine with that. And now what we need to do here is to turn this into a mask, which means we'll have to do an undo if you want to go and change that 65. Bit of a pain, but I didn't find a way of getting around that at the moment. So we're going to right click there and rasterize to mask. And we get the same effect here. So we are ma ma masking this layer here below. So those black dots are poking holes in it. But if I do a control I, it goes the other way around. Now I've got just spots from the picture. Now if I go down to here, on that I get the whole picture. I'm just going to turn the bottom layer off because I want to see that. And now I want to put in a maximum blur. And you'll see what this is for in the moment. If I go to live filters and maximum blur. And if I turn this up here, it makes squares. So I want to have circles. It's more like a paintbrush. And turn that up. And what we get here is, it, see, it's poking through to the pictures. But there's an effect here where this is actually picking up, picking up what is actually there. So I'm going to take the maximum blur and drag it up to the top. And see how different it is now? Because now it's taking one pixel there, one little blob and expanding it by keeping the size of it so I'm not actually poking through to see the uh, circle there. And I can make this circle here, so up to whatever blobby size I like here. So now what I want to do is to have a look at this. If I zoom out, it looks like I'm going OK here, but all of a sudden it starts going lighter till it almost disappears. This is a bug. Uh, and I am reporting this to Affinity so one day it'll hopefully be fixed. So we go back in, but if you want to actually go, I want to look at that full size, we're going to have to put in a uh, an extra layer. So which is, if I right click on this, it's the merge visible. So it then calculates it correctly. I can turn this one off now. And I can, in fact, I can turn that one off too because it's taken a picture of the whole thing. Now I can control zero, go all the way out, and there you go, you can see that effect. It's almost a pointer list sort of effect. And if I put the bottom layer on, then we can see the picture in here. And if you go into it, you can see what we've got here is kind of blobs. So it's almost like you've dabbed it with a painting, so it's a fairly pointer list. If it's a bit harsh, then you can put in a Gaussian blur and put a little bit of a radius onto it. Let's zoom right in to look at those those things. So you can see that the the blobs are just a little bit too harsh there, so a tiny bit there. So that's 0.2. That's round about enough. See, just a little bit, just to knock the edges off those things there. So Control Zero back out again from a distance. Looks like a picture. Zooms in, and it's very painterly. You can do this in varying amounts by changing the radius of various things. Play around with it. See what you like. Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.